All right, what's up, everyone? I just want to do a quick update on the Pothos shelf that I made, because as you can see, a lot has happened with it. So this is what it looked like in January of 2016, and this is what it looked like in early August of 2016. So as you can see, there's a huge amount of growth that happened in that short time frame. Some of these leaves that are have grown are gigantic. They're like almost the size of my hand, which is actually not that big for this species of plant, but I think it's pretty impressive. There's also a lot of new growth happening all over the place. So every day I'll see three or four just new leaves sprouting out somewhere. As for the system itself, the only difference is, is that I drilled the aquarium and have two drains now, a backup and a main. And I also built a new sump. So the pre-filtration is a little better with those filter socks. And now I put most of the bio load in the grow bed of the potho shelf to save space in the sump so I can have a small refugium in there. So the pothos have been growing tremendously and the maintenance has been just simply moving some dead leaves that have dried or just somehow died in one way or another. So overall this system is basically maintenance free. One thing that does have to get done from time to time is pruning because the vines just grow too long. And that's also really easy to do. All you need is a clean pair of scissors and definitely make sure they're clean. And the pothos simply tolerates just blunt cutting in any section with at least three leaves. So what I like to do is cut off a little bit extra and just replant the area that I cut off and that section will grow perfectly fine. You can also of course just trim off any dying or ugly sections of the pothos that you want to. As for fertilizer, I've been experimenting with Seachem Flourish which I've used in the past on planted tanks with a lot of success. So what I've been doing is just really inconsistently adding about four or five milliliters of the flourish directly into the grow bed of the pothos. And while I haven't noticed any huge differences between the periods that I've been adding it and the periods that I haven't been adding it, I still like to do it from time to time um, just to see what happens. Another cool thing that I've noticed about the system is that the roots are growing really well in the grow bed. And so what the roots tell me are that First of all, the substrate, the lava rock substrate is doing really well, and so I'm glad I chose to go with that. And also that the plants have established an efficient way of removing nutrients from the water column, which I can confirm they are doing. I definitely do less water changes now that the pothos are super well established and really large. The more the pothos grow, the better they're going to get at removing nutrients from the water. Now that we're on the subject of nutrient removal, I want to talk a little bit about the advantages that using a non-aquatic plant in your aquarium has over trying to use aquatic plants to remove nutrients. The main advantage is that even though aquatic plants are adapted to live underwater, they simply can't work as efficiently as plants that live in the air, partially because there's a lot more carbon in the air than there is in the water column. And also because the penetration of light underwater is inversely square. So it takes a lot more lighting power to deliver a decent amount of light to plants underwater than it does to plants that are above water. Having plants like pothos in and around your house can also provide other benefits. For example, in this NASA written paper called Interior Landscape Plants for Indoor Air Pollution Abatement, they experimented with pothos and found that the plant can in fact remove some toxins from the air, which is pretty cool. And there's also another study here that outlines the psychological effects that plants in hospital rooms can have on patients. And assuming that that can carry over to your own living environment, having a huge display of nature like this in your room can definitely lift your spirits. I really hope you enjoyed that update. I know for me it was really fun to make just because there was such a big difference between where you last saw it in the video I made of making it to where it is right now. So I'm just really excited to show everyone how awesome this project turned out. 
But with that said, I know that I did miss a lot in this video, so if you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comment section and I will answer them. Um, I will be making a video about drilling my aquarium and the new sump I made, and I also have a ton of awesome aquarium projects coming up soon too, so please stick around and subscribe and I'll see you next time.